Welcome back. This is the part two of the second session of the ORE part one registration. So we have already talked about certain documents in the earlier class. We will just be going through the other things that needs to be uh, done. So let us start with the English evidence where we have stopped in the last class. So in the English evidence, the the one which is the accepted one by the ORE is the pass in the international language testing system, that is the IELTS exam. And this is the one which is considered as one of the um, commonest requirements where um, you need to get an average of seven overall and 6.5 in each of these components that is your speaking reading listening and writing so that is the most common evidence that they accept and most of the students do give this one however um, there are other english evidences as well which is considered to be um taken by the gdc and those are a recent primary dental qualification that has been taught and examined entirely in english uh, recent means no more than two years old so if you have passed your dental qualification from an english medium college and your college is ready to provide a proof regarding that you can submit it or a recent pass in a language test for registration with the regulatory authority in a country where the first language is English. So for example, you have given another language exam in another country, say for example, United States of America, where the first language is English. So that too can be considered if it is a recent pass. A recent and a continuous experience of practicing in a country where the first language is English. So if you have been working in a country for a specific period of time where the first language is English. Now how long the, this experience is required has not been mentioned. So a good idea is to visit the, uh, you know, email the GDC or call the GDC and ask them as to, you know, what exactly or how many months do they require. However, wherever it says recent, it means no more than two years old. Um, this has been provided in great detail and depth in another English language competence document, which is again provided by the GDC. So um, both these documents, the step-by-step -step document and this evidence of English language competence document, both the documents will be attached under the class. If you want to read more or you have any queries regarding your English evidence, you can come here and you can read about it. So there are many different things that applicants from European economic area and then you have non-EE qualified applicants that is if you have qualified from outside the Europe like if you have come from countries like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. So usually IELTS is the best exam and uh, is considered to be really a uh, very good uh, evidence of English. But yes, they do consider the others as well as mentioned before. And if you read this uh, document, then this is given in greater depth um, as to what exactly do they mean by each and every point mentioned over there. So they have mentioned the types of evidence that they are likely to accept. So one is the IELTS and this is something which they, I would strongly recommend you to give if you are not very sure about the other evidences. And in the IELTS uh, you are expected to get a 6.5 an average in each minimum and an overall average of 7. 
they have other evidences as well so recent primary dental qualification and um, that has been taught and examined in english this is explained in detail as to what they actually mean by it evidence 3 is a recent person language test for registration with a regulatory authority in a country and again they have you know talked about the details of that as well how they require it how do you need to provide that evidence everything has been mentioned in detail fourth is the recent experience in a country where the first language is english so here they have mentioned we define recent in this context as no more than two years old and if you choose to provide this evidence you must provide original reference from employers over the preceding two years detailing your practice in english this provides assurance that your experience of practicing the profession in an english speaking dental environment is recent and your language skills are up to date there are some other evidences as well which they have listed over here so again you can go through them please make sure that ielts is one of the best ones but if you're not really very sure then do please read this english document in detail because certain students have questions like if i am a british citizen or if i am married to a british citizen um is there any other kind of evidence so for those kind of questions please read this document or the best thing email gdc as far as i know what type of visa or citizen um ship you have um doesn't really matter if you have passed your graduation from a different country then i think they will require english evidence but having said that as far as i know i just know about ielts because that's what i have given personally but i told you about three other evidences which they have mentioned and the details of it and apart from that if there is something related to marriage or citizenship please look at in this document or contact gdc because they would be the best person to actually advise you on that on anything other than the ones mentioned the next is your character referee in a character referee they have actually given you a complete form you just have to provide this form to your character referee whoever is going to provide a ref a character reference for you this person can either be a gdc registrant or a medical practitioner who is registered in the united kingdom and has known the applicant for at least one year and is not a relative but they can also be a person from um who can be a doctor a dentist or a lawyer from the applicant's own country and has known the applicant for at least 12 months so you don't need to have a someone in the uk you can also have someone in your own country who as long as there's a doctor or dentist or a lawyer and the person has to write all the details that is the full name of the applicant that is you the candidate the title of the referee the referee's name referee's gdc registration number if he is practicing in the uk or if she is practicing in the uk the position held by that referee and the name of the clinic or the organization or the college whatever the town city and the address basically work telephone number email address email address is mandatory and your character referee should agree that whenever they get an email back from the gdc asking whether everything is okay your character referee should respond as soon as possible to the gdc saying yes i know this candidate and then a stamp and a signature and a date now yeah uh okay so that's your character referee so just take a print of this form uh, or send the soft copy to your character referee your character referee can take a print fill out the form and send it to you please make sure that all the signs signatures should be in wet ink clinical reference clinical reference is another 
context where a lot of students ask a lot of doubts on free proofs you should remember three important things for clinical referee one is that you should they should provide at least 1600 hours so whoever you are asking your mm, your dean your college professor or your mds dean your mds professor or the place where you have worked after you have finished your graduation or post graduation the total should be 1600 hours and this can be during your dental degree this is it is bachelor's or masters after the degree if you are working in a clinic a hospital or it can also be a combination of two okay you don't need to give just one you can give combination of two so it really depends on how many you actually require to make a total of 1600 hours so the first point is it should be 1600 hours point 2 is any of these can be provided or combinations of those can be provided and point number 3 is that whoever provides the reference it will only be valid for 3 months and no longer than that so make sure that if you get it signed in august then it should at least reach as well as be seen by the gdc by november okay the clinical experience undertaken by the applicant including the uh exact number of hours so you should always mention the exact number of hours they have also given you a template on how it should be written by your referee that so and so has completed so many hours in prosto pro oms ofs and do p2 radiology or two and so and so they have provided you with a lot of these uh, templates and you can give it one to your um bds professor mds professor post qualification in the clinic hospital you don't need so many if your one suffices 1600 hours then good if not then you may require a combination of two or three again uh, the name signature stamp date all in wet ink that is someone should have really signed it and if you are providing a reference from your college then the uh, stamp of the dean is very very important the next thing is they require a primary dental degree certificate certified copy not as your bds degree certificate and if you have done masters then maybe masters degree certificate as well they require an attested copy or a certified copy your passport take a color print out of your passport and that also should be attested or certified now so when they see is certified they say take out a photocopy and then certify it the documents are, should be legible the copy is taken from the original document okay the person who is certifying should certify it in english and sign and date the document that it is the true copy of the original the certifying person can either be a notary public a commoner commissioner of oaths justice of the peace or any other entitled to practice law or an authorized officer of an embassy or consulate consulate the name signature and address of the person certifying is shown on the copy so make sure that whoever is certifying his or her name signature address it is a true copy of the original date everything is properly legible the person certifying is not a relative of yours the applicant cannot certify documents themselves and photocopy documents varied by a gdc registrant are not accepted so you cannot get it um certified by gdc registrant if your documents are not in english any of the documents are not in english you will have to provide a translation of that and finally they have also provided a link of ffq this is a very important link 
we have noticed that most of the queries a lot of students post on the free groups have been answered under the FAQ section of the GDC website. All your documents should be sent to the Birmingham address given in this document. And once you have sent and once they receive it, they will, you know, notify you that they have received all the documents. They usually take around a month to process. And if they don't reply back in a month, you should always, you know, email or call them back and understand as to what is happening. And that's it. Please make sure that Plan ORE this is not helping any of the students with registration with the ORE or LDS or any of the exams. Okay, that is not something which is uh, which we are good at, and we may have make mistakes while doing that. But because there are so many questions on how to register, we have tried to make something for the ORE students because we are a little related to how to apply because we applied in the same way a, a slightly different way but at least we know a few basic things of the ORE registration so hopefully both these videos help you and have a great day ahead